Cassius, we kind of, I think it was Latre that touched on this, but I want you and Michelle to weigh in because, boy, this, this real sober and radio or, or, or everything else. Prime Minister Davis at the weekend urged Bahamians to spend less because things will get uh, uh, tougher, really, uh, perhaps straight into the holidays. Um, uh, today in the news, we see that Central Bank is confirming what the Prime Minister has said. And now the Minister of Social Services says more people will more than likely be lining up to receive more assistance from social services. And this brings back to memory, mm -hmm. just as you said of the pandemic, when people were desperate and told long lines for, for bags of food or, or, or a bit of cash mm -hmm. to try and go to the store. How can the ministry further equip its partners, like the feeding programs that are attached or are partnering with uh, social services to uh, provide assistance to needy families. And then the government overall, I, I don't know, it is just somehow assist more families and more people. You know, we have this cycle. Uneducated people are unemployable, right? And if your educational standard only goes so much, you can only make so much money. The minimum wage is 210. And so you have the majority of people who are uneducated, graduated with a D average, they can't get a job properly, and so you create the cycle all over again. And so, like I said, inflation only affects broke people. The problem is, how do you tell broke people to spend less when I ain't got nothing in the first place? Well, if, we go into, if the United States goes into a major recession, we'll have severe problems in this country. I suspect, though, what the government should be positioning themselves is figure on the, on the end or the back end of this recession is how do you create greater opportunities for wealth for Bahamians? We are a small country, 400,000 people. The reason why our, our per capita income is so high is because when you divide the total amount by the amount of people we get, we only get a little bit of people. If you could now look at the amount of resources coming in, how do we distribute resources or allow Bahamians to get access to wealth? Then we wouldn't have a problem with recession. We wouldn't have a problem with inflation. The reason why it is a problem is because the majority of people are broke. For us now, if we now say, if we could educate these people and say, listen, we want to give you the educational standing so that you can get a better job, you can, you can demand more money, and, and so on. you got to give them that tool to be able to work. But, of course, they're failing in the schools, and this is why we need to have, you know, I've been advocating for what they call an after-school program. Open up the schools from 3 to 9 so that the people who are failing can go back to school okay, to get help. Not, but Please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also follow our TikTok account. Thanks.